Hi, this is Dr. Pan, recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hoping you're having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip on evaluating a uh, integral here. The first tendency when we get an integral here, I don't know about you, first tendency I have is panic. It's like, uh-oh, this thing looks pretty complicated. Now, once that passes, what you need to recognize is this. Cotangent, if you take a derivative, you end up with cosecant squared. This is a really a big advantage because when you have a variable exchange, u equal to cotangent of x, then du becomes minus, oh, I missed the minus sign, minus cosecant squared dx. Okay. So basically what we have is minus du equal to cosecant squared x and dx. Let's do the substitution. I always think of substitution kind of like the spy going undercover. dx here, we have this chunk of times dx becomes minus du, and then cotangent on the bottom is u here. Then you have minus natural log of u, what's u cotangent of x. You can stop here, or if you want to take one more step in that cotangent is really cosine of x divided by sine x. So we have minus natural log of cosine of x minus minus, which is plus natural log of sine x. Maybe we can make it look, look a little prettier. And we're just going to swap the two. I should add a constant here. Technically, we should have an integration constant here. All right. I hope it's clear. This is how we handle this type of problem. First instinct is I go oh, oh but if you can recognize cotangent and cosecant are linked together during a variable substitution, you're there. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona. This is Dr. Pan. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.